West Shore, here we go. 2022 Defense Soap Duels Gold Pool Round 2. Okay, here we go. 9-2-2 two, two out on the mat here. Taking on West Shore 2-0 lead for Seiko at 60 pounds. Match is brought to you by Defense Soap. Defense Soap, the film which you built. And Barbarian Apparel conquered the impossible. Seiko up 2-0 here versus 9-2-2. Two, two. Seiko boots coming in. Seiko going to work. Seiko, Portilla, Portilla, Seiko, be a good scrap here. 2 0 lead Seiko, Portilla, Seiko, neutral for Portilla. Seiko up 2 0 here, stalking Portilla. Shot into double under, Seiko dumps him. That was beautiful. Two takedown. That was beautiful, just a little pancake there. Delicious. So Seiko power half boots and he's high. Looking to settle back against Patella. Cranking that lefty power half. Now he's got that cross wrist of Seiko. 4 0 lead, 45 seconds left in the second. Max Seiko going to work against Portilla. Double boots in, flattens him out. We're gonna stack him. Seiko looking to stack him and stuff his head. 10 seconds left, nice roll follow there by Seiko. Time, end of the period. Going into the third here, Seiko up 4-0 on Portillo.
So we've got two live streams. One's on GoHioCast. The other one is on OAC. If you want to watch Burnett Train versus Palmer, head over to the other live stream on OAC. Tough ride here. 6-0 lead now for Seiko. On Portilli's got to be thinking major decision. Looking for a turn here. Left power half for Seiko. This is Patillo. Patillo coming up. Goes an escape. He jumps in. Nice pancake. Oh, beautiful fight, though. Great fight by Portillo there. He settles back. Seiko could be looking for a fall. Portillo's in big trouble. Seiko looking for the fall. 20 seconds left. Oh, man, he steps over now. Seiko's chasing that fall. Portillo's in some big trouble. Could Seiko get it? Portillo got a fight here. Short time, five seconds. Portillo's going to survive here. Seiko readjusts. And Portillo's going to survive and save his team. Two team points. Great job by Portillo versus Seiko. Seiko picks up the technical fall. No, nope, major decision. So major decision, 11-1, Seiko puts his team up 4-0 going into 64 pounds, sounds right. It's Sharples, Sindoni. So Sharples versus Sindoni, Sharples. And don't here we go, 64 pounds. Matches brought to by Defense Up, Defense Up, Defense Up, and Barbara and Pro conquer the impossible 4 0 lead in favor of a West Shore. Sedoni so takes a shot. Sharples defends. Scoreless here, Sindoni and Sharples, 64 pounds. Sindoni, two on one, steps into him, 14 seconds remains here. Spin go behind the top, hooks that leg, Sindoni. Two takedown, 2-0 leads and donate Sindoni, Sharples underneath. Match is brought to by Defense Soap, Defense Soap, Defense Soap, Belt. Gold Pool 2022 Defense Soap Duels. Sindoni cranking power half here on top, double boots in. Bad spot underneath now for Sharples, cranks it. Now, Sintoni looking for some near fall. Sharples, nice job. Good instinct there, turns into it. Nothing, they're gonna stop it, potentially dangerous. We're gonna get a restart at 36 seconds. Sintoni putting some heat on Sharples here. Score is 2-0, 23 seconds remains here. Second period, Sindoni, 2-0 on Sharples. Sharples does a nice job, good instincts underneath, fights through, positions hard, no near fall. Sindoni's cranking lefty power half. 
And Sharple's trying to not go. Doni just putting some pain on him at this point. End of the period, we're gonna get a 2-0 lead. Sandoni going to the third choice. Sandoni gonna go underneath for 9-2-2. 4-0 lead in the duel for West Shore. Sharple's boot comes in. Gold pool, 9-2-2 is undefeated. They knocked off Burnett. West Shore lost to Palmer. So if West Shore wants a chance at tie-in for this championship, they're gonna have to knock off 9-2-2 here. 9-2-2 will have a championship final match against Palmer. If Palmer can knock off Burnett, both teams will be undefeated going into the final round. It will be an actual true final even though it kind of wasn't intended that way. And it's a 4-0 lead for Sindoni. He is on top, working on Sharples here now. These are the Defense Soap Duels 2022 here in beautiful Sandusky, Ohio. Match is brought to you by Defense Soap, Defense Soap, the film which you built, and Barbarian Apparel. Conquer the impossible. And 9-2-2, looking to make it a 4-3 duel here. Sharples rolls through. And it looks like Sundona is going to take the 4-0 win over Sharples, and it's going to make it a 4-3 duel, 9-2-2 on the board after 64 pounds. There is your winner. Sundoni knocks off Sharples. There's the win for 9-2-2. 4-3 bout, 4-3 duel after 64, going to 68. Okay, here come the 68 pounders on the mat. Leonard of West Shore gonna be taken on. Leonard, 68 pounds versus Patrick of 922. So Patrick versus Leonard. Here we go, 68 pounds, defense soap duels. Gold pool, 922 undefeated on the day. One loss, three and one for West Shore. Here we go. Leonard in the black singlet. Patrick in the blue. Leonard is going after him, peppering him with shots. Leonard puts him down to take down Leonard. Leonard on top right now. Blair ride left side. Oh, that is nasty. Leonard going to work. Oh, it's just great pressure. Five seconds left in the period. Leonard looks like he's going to take a 2 0 -oh lead. Oh, he's going to run that over almost. Bar half. Great job. They're going to stop that. Green's choice. Leonard going to go underneath. West Shore in a good spot here versus 9-2-2. Got a 10-3 lead here. Going into 72 pounds. The 72 pounders are on the mat. Match is probably about a fence soap. Fence soap, the film which you built. Then a large check coming out for St. Edward. A large check taking on Beal. So Beal in the blue. 
got the red ankle band. Malarchik in the green. Match is brought to you by the Defense Soap. These are the Defense Soap duels. This is your gold pool. 9 4-0 on the day. West Shore. 3 and 1 Beal. Looking for a takedown here on Malarchek. Malarchek got a head outside. Beal's got a cradle strapped up. Beal could be looking for a fall. Malarchek's in a bunch of trouble. That was nice. That was sneaky. I like that. Real sneaky. Beal looking for the fall here. Malarchek in a boatload of trouble. 17 seconds left in the period. Beal looking for that fall. And Malarchek's going to volley down, avoid giving up the fall, but it's going to be 5 0 Beal at the end of one. Holy smokes. So, 5-0 lead for Beal, a 9-2-2, he's on top, he's in the red ankle band, blue singlet, 9-2-2, Malarchek underneath, Malarchek reaching back for a wizard, Beal goes single leg, Malarchek looked like he was going to dive under, standing cradle almost for Beal, they're fighting hands now. 5-0 lead, Malarchuk's gonna get an escape, 5-1 Beal, dominating the action here thus far. 2022 Defense Soap Duels, Gold Pool, 9-2-2-3-1 on the day. Check that, 9-2-2-4-0 on the day. West Shore, 3-1 on the day. Shoot at the same time. Malarchuk looked like he was gonna try and pancake him there. a stalemate probably good for Beal he gets a restart here 25 seconds left in the second Beal fires off a lefty single almost started as a double switched off to a single 12 seconds left second period he's trying to split the middle now he's got a double put he's got to put Malarchuk on his hip Malarchuk does a nice job scoops the head you're going to get stuck in the middle. We're going to have a 5-1 bow going into the third here. So Beal going to go neutral with his 5-1 lead off the strength of a first period takedown to a cradle. Beal doing a nice job. Holds position. Had a good attack there at the end. Unable to score on Malarczyk. Stalking Malarczyk. Now Malarczyk, whoa, rips a headlock. That was nice, but Malarczyk's going to get the takedown there. Larchuk makes it 5-3. Beal just can't get turned here. He's got stalls to give. He's dominated the match till that point right there. And now Larchuk kind of working on top. One minute remains. We're in the third period here. Larchuk got to turn Beal. Beal doesn't look like the type of turning type. He's just going to stay tough there on bottom. 46 seconds remains. Crossbody, they're going to stop that one. Potentially dangerous. Good call. Good stoppage. So off the restart, 42 seconds. Beal. Beal got to come up and get one. Let's see if he can do it. Malarczyk covers. Well, he doesn't have to get one. He's got to not get turned. That's about it. He's got stalls to give. Can give up two stalls here in 33 seconds and no harm. Cross body now, Malarczyk. It's going, looking maybe banana split. And Beal just got to hang tough there. He's doing it. Beal's doing what he's got to do. 18 seconds left. Beal going to pick up a win here, it looks like. 15 now. And we're going to have a back and forth duel here. This should make it 9 to 7 with the Beal win here. Six seconds. Beal going to knock off Malarchek and Sweet Cradle, great job. And Beal put 9-2-2 in a position to win this duel and go on to a true final potentially 
if Palmer could knock off Burnett, but Palmer's down 22 nothing to Burnett. So there it is. Beal with the big win off a nice cradle in the first. All right, here we go. Should be a good one here coming up. Karen Bauer for 922 versus Beachlam. Beachlam and Karen Bauer. Two solid rough customers. Karen Bauer in the blue. He's in the red ankle band. Two on one. Karen Bauer. Karen Bauer 922. He is mean, folks. Lefty single, right to a double. Cuts across ankle. Karen Bauer, 2-0 lead. Goes right to it. Karen Bauer, a hammer at defense soap duels. Looked unbelievable. Goes right to the tilt here on Beachlam. And Karen Bauer looked unbelievable at National Middle School duels the times I saw him. He's mean. He wrestles hard in all positions. Folks, if you're mean and you wrestle hard in all the positions, you're usually a pretty good spot to be good at wrestling. Nine to seven duel in favor of West Shore. West Shore up nine seven. Karen Bauer off the mat. We're gonna get a restart. Five zero lead. Eight zero lead. Karen Bauer going to work here. Karen Bauer nine two two will cover. Dominating West Shore here. Eight zero. Eight points in the one minute first period. It's hard to do versus Beachland. So Karen Bauer got to be thinking tech fall, put his team in the lead. Beachlam got to stop something. He's got to go take top here and get something. Good. Tech Mall, if he can get a pin here. Karen Bauer, 12-0, Tech Fall. Puts his team in the lead. 12-9, Karen Bauer with the win for 9-2-2. Karen Bauer's good, folks. So it is gonna be 12-9 in favor of 9-2-2. Here we go. Karen Bauer with a nice win there with Tech Fall for Karen Bauer. We're at 80 pounds. Karen Bauer with a Tech 76. So Lipscomb and Wurr coming out here. So Wurr 922 Lipscomb of West Shore. Check that. Lipscomb is looking what well, right now where's looking for the fall on lips that's that, that's correct five oh lead for word word's got a cradle strapped up we're gonna be looking for a fall here 922 could start rolling here, folks. Oh, he had it a couple times. And there's a fall for Wurr in 922. And that's gonna make it 18 to 9 just like that in a minute, folks. So at 80 pounds, Wurr picks up the fall for 922. Alright, next one out. Gonna have short. Short for West Shore and Weiss. Weiss for Oh man, Palmer climbing back into that one over there. 
So Weiss, and short, short, why short? Weiss, 922. Short and on a lefty, single scores. Watch it, Moe's. Don't get nuts. here. 6-2 lead here at 84 pounds from West Shore. Short for West Shore versus Weiss of 9-2-2. Six seconds left in the first. Five left here in the second. Short, 85 pounds, 84 pounds, Weiss, 922. Short, two more for short, gonna be 10 3 now. 50 seconds left here in the second for short to extend his lead. Versus Weiss has got the cradle strapped up. Short could be looking for a ball. Weiss in a bunch of trouble, 922 with the 18 9 lead. And great fight by Weiss. 11-3 short. Looking for the fall. The short. Weiss on his back. 17 seconds left in the second. There's a fall. And just like that, it's 18-15. West Shore right back in this thing. Nice job by Short getting the fall here at 84 pounds. Short with the ball for West Shore at 84. So 84 pounds. Sims coming out for West Shore. Sims going to be taking on a 9 2 twos. Junkins. Junkins versus Sims here at 88 pounds. Match is brought to you by Defense Soap. Defense Soap. Defense what you built. Barbarian Apparel. Kind of impossible. Here we go. 88 pounders on the mat. 
Junkins. Red Ankle Band 922 taking on Sims. Sims of West Shore. Green Ankle Band. Junkinson on a shot. Thigh Wizard there. The whole traditional Thigh Wizard. Nice Thigh Wizard. Like threw him down on his hip. Oh, beautiful swing. Single by Junkin. Doesn't take his hand with him. They're fighting hands now. There's that Wizard again. We're off the mat. We're going to get a restart. Off the restart. Twenty-five seconds remains here. First period, scoreless. Lefty single again for Junkins. Sims front headlock now. Fifteen now. Short time here left in the first. That is a unique knee crawling popper, folks. If you have ever, if I've ever seen one before in my life. And that is the end of a scoreless first, Sims and Junkins. Take down there for Junkins. He's got a 3-0 lead. Two great duels going on right now. Live duel on OAC's YouTube channel now for Burnett Trained taking on Palmer. That's where the student has become the teacher yet again. Palmer was a Burnett Trained guy, so He's a West Shore and a Burnett train guy. Yes, you can go to multiple clubs. It's okay. Five o'clock here, Eastern time. Oh, there's a quick chin back. He counted one. I saw him count one. Five seconds left here in the second. Can Sims. Third period. Sims going to choose neutral down 3-0 to Junkins. Lock here for Sims. He's down 4 0. 105 remains. So Junkin chose underneath Sims. Let him go. It's 4 0. 101 left here. Sims is going to have to put him on his back. going to have to go feet to back. 55 seconds left. Shot by Junkin Sims from Headlock. Stelmy, we're gonna get a restart. Shot, 25 seconds left for Junkins. Clear, Simmons takes a shot from space. Runs into the hips. Good defense there. Quarter front Nelson. Front quarter Nelson. Jumps down to a head outside. Sits the corner to Sims. I mean, Sims has got that. All he's 
got to do is he could actually take that arm and hit a cradle. He sat the corner harder. And end of the match for O. Lee Junkins. And 922 is going to extend their lead to 21 to 9. Junkins knocks off Sims. So 21 to 9. Whiteley coming out. Whiteley going to take on 9 2 twos. Luster, Luster versus Whiteley. Here we go. Should be a good one. So Luster versus Whiteley. Here we go. Oh, nice little whip over from the underhook. Whiteley wrestles hard, lost a tough one versus Palmer, drops down to a single, cuts across, two takedown, Whiteley. And your dual score 18, I think it's 21, and I think a dual score is wrong. And nice little dump there, looking to catch that foot. Step through and hook it. Nice low single. Whiteley then comes up to the underhook. 13 seconds. Whiteley's a goer, folks. Look at him just going from one hold to the next. You gotta love it. If you don't, you hate the sport of wrestling. Lost a tough match against uh, Palmer, but it was a great match. 4-2. Whiteley, Energizer Bunny, gets after it. He's got Iowa on one side of his headgear, the Hawkeyes, and then he's got the Buckeyes, Ohio State and the very interesting. Whiteley up to his feet, down or up 4 2. There's the roll, clears his feet, reversal. Whiteley, he's got the go juice. He goes hard. Whiteley looking cradle here. Nice, pulls the trigger. Whiteley runs into the underhook. Lester, no answers for anything Whiteley's doing here. 25 seconds remains. They're going to stop that one potentially. Whiteley going to work. Lester. Your dual score, it looks like they're trying to fix it over there. Off the mat. Only got a six to three lead. The guys attempted a ton of holds though. It's gonna be 92 going underneath here. So Lester underneath. Whiteley's gonna let him go six four. Lester can score a takedown and tie this match. Whiteley has dominated every position of it, had all the offense, chased him all around. Oh, and there he goes for it. He tries to hit him with the 922 crippler. Doesn't work. Whiteley's gonna cradle him. Lester's still not in that awful of a position if he knows how to wrestle here. But now Whiteley takes him over, does get the two, it's eight, four. Some guys bait this. They bait this position, they sit through and they'll pin you. Like that, like Whiteley's gotta be careful. Now Whiteley's gonna pin him. <laughs> Doesn't have to be careful when he's trying to pin him. I like that. Lester maybe didn't know what he was doing there. Maybe he was out over his skis in this position. Folks, if there's anywhere you don't want to be, it's out over your skis. Trust me. 
And he has got his leg all types of bundled up. Looking for the fall is Whiteley. And there it is. Picks up a fall. Wow, that is huge. I couldn't tell you what the dual score is. They're not putting it up yet. It was 18 to 9, 21 to 9. And hopefully they put it back up. And Whiteley doing Whiteley things. Picks up a fall because he just wrestles so hard. When you wrestle hard like Whiteley, things like that come your way. Okay, 96ers. The old 96ers are on the mat. So here we go, 96 pounds. We're gonna look at that McLaughlin. McLaughlin in the green. He's taking on Swingle of 922. Swingle in on a double. And we're off the mat. We're gonna get a restart. Off the restart. Here we go. Swingle in the red ankle band. Laughlin in the So a 2-0 lead for 9-2-2. And Swingle. Swingle with a 2-0 lead here. Underneath the start to second. Here we go. Match is brought to you by Defense Up. Defense Up, the film which you built. Can McLaughlin get something going. And Barbarian apparel kind of impossible. Swingle coming out, got a double again. I want Swingle to just to get a single, folks. That's all I want, that's all I ask for. He does get a reversal there, 4-0 Swingle. Laughlin, no answers to anything Swingle's done. Now he's gonna try a little switch of his own. Unable to get it. Swingle remains on top, 42 seconds left here. And the second, 4-0 lead for 9-2-2 Swingle. Still don't know the dual score, I'll go get that and I'll tell you. Duel is 22-20 in favor of West Shore. So a win here by Swingle will put them in the lead. If it remains this way, 23 to 22. 22-20, West Shore in the lead right now. So West Shore with a two-point lead. Third period, 4-0 lead, Swingle of 9-2-2 over McLaughlin. McLaughlin of Washer. 1-10 left here.
Swingle, 9-2-2. Looking for, he's got a 4-1 lead. 10 seconds left, Swingle gonna, they sit down a single. There you go, now it's a double. And Swingle gonna knock off McLaughlin, 4-1. It's gonna make it 23-22. 23 to 22 going into one hundred pounds. So here comes our next weight, one hundred and five pounds or on the mat. Check that. 100 pounds on the mat. 100 pounders are on the mat. Swiger coming out for West Shore taking on Lindsay of 922. Swiger for Lindsay. 100 pounders on the mat. 23 22 dual lead for 922. Five seconds left in the second. Two O lead choice in the third. Ninety two gonna go underneath. And this is Lindsay underneath for nine two two. He's got a two O lead on Swagger. Gonna get a reversal 4-0 lead now. Going right to a tilt. And then Gorski's, Gorski's come out next. Back to back Gorski's for West Shore.
Another win, and we've got a barn murder that's going to make it 26 22 going into 105. So here we go. We got Tommy Gorski coming out. Tommy Gorski coming out. First Gorski coming out. This is Tommy. So Tommy Gorski, 105, going to take on Braun of 922. Braun going to be in the red ankle band. Tommy Gorski in the green. Here we go. Gorski Braun. 26-22. 9-2-2 with a lead here. Gorski's back to back. 105 and 110 for West Shore. West Shore in the green ankle bend. 9-2-2 in red. He's got a cradle strapped up. No, nope, hands weren't locked. Nice fight by Gorski. He's gonna go with that front head and arm stack. Neck wrench, Marinelli. He's got him stacked up. Could be looking for a fall here, and there it is. 9-2-2, gonna pick up a fall there at 105 pounds for Braun. And Braun stacks him up. Front head and arm, Marinelli, bowl, head and neck wrench over, stacks and pins him. There's the fall. 9-2-2 extends their lead to 32 to 22. And we've got Luke Gorski coming out against Abel. So Abel taking on Luke Gorski. 110 pounds, Abel Gorski. Here we go. Abiel going to work here versus Gorski. We're going to run the Gorski's matches back to back. <laughs> Abiel on top. This is 110 pounds. Half. Abiel looking for a fall here. Gorski's in trouble. Looking for back-to-back -back falls for 9-2-2. They got a 32-22 lead. Abiel looking at his pin. Gorski, Gorski fighting. Abiel looks like he has it. And there's a fall, and it's going to be 38-22, 9-2-2. They are starting to roll on West Shore. There it is. There's the win. Abiel. All right, so here we go at 120 pounds. Van Gundy coming out for West Shore. Vandy going to be taking on. Oh, we got a. Looks like we got a. We got a forfeit first here. For so Shore. Shore. I'm guessing that's Shore. Forfeit for Shore. Shore picks up the forfeit. And here we go up to 120. Van Gundy coming out, taking on DeMarco. DeMarco for 922. Van Gundy. Blaze Van Gundy, folks. This Blaze Van Gundy guy can wrestle. Dad Chance, the head coach for. Dublin Kaufman, the Rocks. We got an interesting duel shaping up over there on the other mat with Burnett. And 922 has got these guys doubled up over here. Van Gundy doesn't care. 
He just likes to roll. He's got the bar laced up, bar half. Van Gundy trying to run this bar over 18 seconds. Got the wrist. Blaze Van Gundy, folks, he doesn't. So, Van Gundy over here just doing Van Gundy things. He just wrestles super hard. He had that roll through tilt. And Van Gundy 8-2 here, piling up the points. His team's down 44-22. Probably a done deal. Van Gundy... Doing Van Gundy things, Russell's hard. Okay, so Himmel versus Kaufman. Himmel for St. Ed's. Kaufman is a character, folks. From 922, he's gonna do some stuff. 
Just be ready. Big high flyers. Crazy stuff. Gonna headlock. There it is. And we'll kind of rustles through it though. Ooh, here it comes. He does a lat drop. He did it last match. And here it comes. Himmel pushes it. Kaufman, hip toss, there it is. Kaufman going to work right now, going with some high flyer stuff. Running over a bar, Kaufman looking for the fall here on Himmel. This is gonna slam the door shut mathematically on this duel. And looks like we're gonna go to a second period. And Kaufman gonna have a seven one lead going to the second. I'm gonna defer. Kaufman gonna go neutral. Kaufman a nine two two Himmel. Saint Edward. Over, under, looking body lock now. Nothing, wow. <laughs> Going after it. Certainly not for a lack of trying. Shot Himmel. Kaufman takedown. Forty-four to twenty-six. Bar half runs it over. Kaufman looking for the fall. Kaufman gonna get that fall. Oh man, there it is. That was nasty. Showed it to us. Kaufman picks up the fall. Gonna go throw his cowboy hat on. Enjoy the rest of his day. Nine-two-two. Gonna be undefeated going into whoever they go up against next. So here we go, 140s on the mat, Driscoll, well no 140s, this is going to be a forfeit, Aquila going to get a forfeit here, so Aquila going to get the forfeit, and then Driscoll is going to take on Hordak. Your duel will score 56 to 26, there is the win for Aquila, Driscoll versus Hordak, 160 coming out, this is your last match. Of the new one. Here we go. Shot Driscoll lifts him up, catches the hooks, the leg on the way down. Chop. Boot comes in. And 2 0 lead. 20 seconds left for Driscoll. Off the mat, we're going to get a restart. Off the restart. It's going to be 14 seconds left in the first 2 0 lead, Driscoll. Korak underneath. We're not going to win that duel. Nope. Well, he must have went too hard in the uh, last night of the game. Uh, uh. So, 2-0 lead. Korak. Korak. Driscoll. I know Driscoll. Just kind of stunted. I mean, Driscoll's dominating. Just the score is not. Driscoll's fun to watch. Watch him. Yeah, yeah. Dive in on a shot or do something crazy. Yeah, his dad's one of the best compound, right? Yes. Red. Pre workout right there. He loves. Nice shot. Driscoll. So, 
Driscoll dominating here. And Bernat's going to knock off Palmer. 9 2 2 is going to have to just win their next duel to win this outright. 9 2 2 is going to be the only undefeated team. But Palmer beats them, them, it could be a four way tie. Three way tie. If Burnett can knock off these guys. Oh, that was nasty. Two takedown. Driscoll doing Driscoll. Driscoll, neutral in the third, 6-2 lead. Driscoll, high crotch, double, lifts it, runs him down, hooks the leg on the way down. Catches a Turk on the way down. Here, Driscoll looking for a fall. Good fight. This is the last match of the duel. There's a fall for Driscoll as he is going to pin Horak. And Driscoll going to take the win for the pin. Make it 56 32. 9 2 2 is undefeated. They are one match away from winning this thing. We're going to get a quick forfeit. It's going to be 62 32. So there it is. 9-2-2, forfeit there, and 9-2-2 is going to be undefeated going into round number six. They are in the driver's seat to win this thing. So there it is. Last duel and last round coming up here in about the next five, 10 minutes.